At this time, uh, I'd like to welcome to the stage Father Nathaniel Anderson, IWP Class of 2014, who will give the invocation. All right. <laughs> uh, C.S. Lewis once wrote, as long as we are thinking only of natural values, we must say that the sun looks down on nothing half so good as a household laughing together over a meal, or two friends talking over a pint of beer, or a man alone reading a book that interests him. That all economics, politics, laws, armies, and institutions, save insofar as they prolong and multiply such scenes, are a mere plowing of the sand and sowing the ocean, a, a meaningless vanity and vexation of the spirit. So C.S. Lewis, the Oxford Don and Anglican, he's, uh, his point is that all good government and warfare ultimately have as their aim domestic and political peace. Lewis agrees with Aristotle who says that politics and therefore every just war is for the end of friendship. Politics in its true nature is not only faction against faction, but according to the classics is at the service of friendship. And in that vein, St. Augustine says that true peace is not the mere absence nor constructive channeling of conflict. He says peace is the tranquility of order, as my classmates and I uh, would learn in, in Dr. Lenchowski's introductory class. And America inherited and added much to this great tradition. So it should not be any wonder that our first commander-in-chief departed from office with his cautioning farewell address and after a life of service eagerly retired across the Potomac to Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon in a world of Mount Vernons is the natural end of statecraft. George Washington, C.S. Lewis, and everyone who matters agrees. Lewis speaks to us though only of natural goods as politics and wars ends. If he were to speak to us of supernatural goods, as he so often did, he would have to add that we do not do it all for Mount Vernon, nor only for pints and festive galas, but for a share in the divine banquet. Not for friendships of utility, of pleasure, nor of virtue, but for the sake of the friendship meant by the communion of saints. Not for the peace of a novus ordo seculorum, but for the peace of a world ordered to heaven and secula seculorum, for ages unending. So we should not fail to always join to our earthly toasting a heavenly prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we offer you thanks for all the blessings you have worked through since this institute. We pray that all those tasked with carrying it on may be faithful to its mission. And we humbly ask that you allow it to continue to play a part in bringing true peace to our nation and to others. You came, as it is written, not to bring peace but the sword, because you do not give peace as the world gives. You promise the peace of the city of God. With your aid, may this institute and its friends promote such peace. Finally, we pray for the soul as well as the friends and family of General Raymond Odierno. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed rest in peace. Amen.